Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new Iron Man video and let's start this one off by looting this corpse and get uh, a leg piece. I think that would be a good thing to get. Uh, oh, overloads. That's actually not too bad. I don't have any overloads or like flasks at all. I only have potions. So interesting. Also, the cash is decent. I'm really poor. Look at this. 445k. Alright, maybe the last loot wasn't the best, but this is going to be the best one. <laughs> really? You guys say that you want more deaths in my video. Now, I don't know why that is, but maybe you guys just would love seeing me rage or something. But I literally just died on Araxor when he was at zero health. Like, the boss died and I died. That is some shit. I'm actually really close to getting 87 defense. I need 4k experience, so the next kill I'm actually going to get that. But this loot, we get 40 Hydrix ball tips, and I've been getting a lot of teas. I don't know why. I just keep getting this, so I guess it's decent, it's some alkyballs. Uh, I'll go in my last video so that I can put these on ascension bolts, and they will be pretty much like onyx bolts E when it comes to value, so that is not too bad. Oh my god, this is crazy, look how fast my defense levels are. I know this isn't much, but that's probably like 7% of my defense experience, and I got this defense level on this kill. So that is really fast leveling, and I just hit 87, let's just remove that blinking annoying thing, and let's see what we get from this loot. And, uh, yep, another joke of a loot. I am actually so goddamn frustrated right now. I have died four times without a kill on 0% enrage, and that is because every single time I died, I've been having lag spikes, and that's because my internet is just absolutely awful right now, and it just makes me so annoyed, like, it's so much waste of supplies, but anyways, now I did manage to get a kill without getting a lag spike, and the lag spikes are like 10 seconds long, so it really sucked, so hopefully we can get something good, please don't give me Hydrix ball tapes that's going to suck so bad if I do get that. Come on, man, I died four times for this, come on. So I'm actually doing some divination right now, and I just hit 70, well, quite frequently, I've done half a level since then, and I'm just doing it now at Canafis, and it's going great, but the thing is, I'm slowly going towards 80, because that's obviously a requirement for invention, and I'll be doing some divination, meanwhile, I'm just waiting for our Raxa reset, and that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about now, so... I just want to let you guys know that the next videos is going to be very much PVM related and it's going to be like mostly Araxor kills and I was looking through my videos and I was like is it really that fun to see like loot after loot after loot after loot of the same boss and maybe it is to some people and maybe it is to you know maybe it isn't to some people but for me doing Araxor is literally what I want to do and I still love making videos, obviously, so the making them entertaining is the number one reason for me to play this game. Honestly, it is. Like, I love making videos and that is what makes this game fun to play for me. Now, if the videos are not entertaining to watch, uh, when there's like mostly Araxor in the video, just Araxor loots, and then maybe some other stuff like this, for example, or I'm doing like Criara trips or something like that, then if that's not entertaining, then please let me know and I'll mix it up a bit and I'll do some Araxor kills that I just don't show you guys the loot of. But then keep in mind there will probably be a longer period of time between the videos. So it's pretty much up to you guys if you think it's fine with just less videos on RS3. You know, I'm actually working on some old school stuff, but that's for the future, you know, hints, hints. But, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to know if you guys think it's fine with, like, shit tons of Araxor loot as the video and then just some other stuff as well. Or if you want, like, less videos but less of Araxor and only show you guys the highlights of that. So thank you guys for listening to me for a second. I don't know what it is, but it's not something that I really complain about, but sometimes when I make an Araxor session, it doesn't drain any money. It says it costs 200k, right, and that's usually what it takes, but then sometimes in my inventory it just doesn't drain any money. You can look back at the last clip, I have the same amount of money, and you can see on my aura that this is the first kill. I just did this kill, and it's a new session overall. Didn't drain any money. I don't know why, but let's see what we get from this one. Oh, come on. Oh, actually... That's not too bad, even though it's absolutely awful, because that's the third part. Meaning, after these three kills that I'm going to do, so I'm going to do two more after this, we will be able to do an elite clue. We're actually going to hit a really small milestone mark here. I'm going to hit 20 Araxi kills after the next one I do. This is kill 19, so let's see what we get from this one. And we get some water talismans. Alright, let's just bank that and do another one. 
Man, it actually sucks so bad when you die on 2k HP on Araxor because you just got completely comboed. I was full HP, I got comboed, rip me. But anyways, I'm going to end it there on Araxor because my R is about to run out and I don't have any more tortoise pouch pouches. So I guess I'll just get back to Araxor later in the video and finish up so I get 20 kill count at least. Even though it really does suck to die, we at least have this Triskillion key to make me happy again. And dude, I think not the last time, but the one time before that I got a Dragon Pickaxe, so let's get another one. Or not, I mean the seats are decent. I'll take it, let's do this Elite Clear. Alright, let's see what we can get from this one, please be something good. And we get, ooh, I think Wolfstaff is actually a new item, as well as Ancient Coif as a new item. But it's 97k and I have a reroll. Now, you know what? I'm not going to reroll this one because this is two new cosmetics and I'm just going to keep that. So that's actually not too bad. I can't be arsed equipping it now because it probably looks like shit. But anyways, that's pretty cool. Let's equip this one actually. And it looks like shit, but I'll take it. I'm actually going to camp ascension creatures for a very long time. I really did feel like doing some legions as well as getting cybernetic scales or maybe some signets from them because I really do want the cybernetic gear but I only have 87 defense right? I'm pretty close to 88 you can see here on the meter it's really close actually. Uh, but I think I'm actually going to keep killing Roris until I'm 90 defense. So I'm going to be here for quite a while and every single key that I get from doing that I already have like 6 of them. I'm going to use on legions and then try to get well, try to get, it's just down to luck really, but we will have to see how many cybernetic scales I can get, if I can get any signets, just overall it's going to be pretty fun to do, so let's do that, I'll get back to you guys when I have 90 defense. Actually this is the weirdest shit I've ever experienced in RuneScape, no joke whatsoever, so I recharged my royal crossbow like literally one hour ago, so it went up to 92%, and then after that I went to do one aura at the ascension creatures, and it degraded. No joke, I wasn't even thinking about it, and I was like, what is degraded? And now I went over to QBD to like, you know, recharge it, brandish it again. And look at this, look at the chat, it does all the hot flames all the time. I brandished the royal crossbow in front of her, and no, I did not spam it, I literally pressed once like this. And I also tried equipping it like this, and brandished like this. Nothing worked, nothing at all, so I have no idea what the hell to do, but to just... I guess open this Z, alright, that's shitty loot, but yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll try again, but that's just weird, man. So this absolutely sucks, I actually need to get all of the pieces again for the royal crossbow, and I actually used my two stabilizers part literally one hour ago to recharge my crossbow so this wouldn't happen, but it still did, for no reason. I, yet again, I say it again, I don't know what the hell happened, but for some reason it still broke down. So even though I was tracking it, I don't know, Jagger screwed me over somehow. So anyways, I only have three royal sites, and by the way, this is all the keys that I got. It's actually a fair amount, I'm happy with that. And I'm actually just only 23,000 experience of 90 defense, so we're going to get that as well, maybe really soon. But anyways, I do need to do QBD to be able to even get all the, you know, the royal crossbow back again, so I can even do legions, which sucks. Like, I really want to do these keys right now, but I cannot before I do get all those pieces back. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that now, but... Hopefully we can be lucky. You know, after doing 20 QBD kills, I didn't get anything, and I was like, dude, I really want to make this video now and try to finish it, and uh, therefore I'm going to just use my Sun Spear and put that into range, which I just did, and I'm going to do all of these keys and hopefully we can get something good. I can't calculate how many this is, but it's a fair amount. Alright, so we're doing the first trip and I just hit 90 defense and now, I mean, I have everything I need now. I have all the tier 90 armors I have unlocked, but I'm still going to go for 99 obviously because it's another 99. And we get some small minor defense from it, so why would we not do it? But yeah, we have 90 defense now, so I can get those Cyrenic gears as soon as I get all the scales for it. But so far on this trip I've got zero, so it's not looking great. Oh yes, there we go, on the first trip I get a Signet, and it is the Turgis one, which is one of the ones I absolutely hate doing. Look at all those grads, dude, thank you all for that, and holy shit, I now have three Signets in the bank, and let me just quickly show you guys how many kills I have, and you are going to hate me for this, I have 59. 59 kill count, and I have three different Signets in the bank. Alright, let's keep going.
Alright, so this is what I got from the Secundus keys and the Sextus ones. I think it was 9 Sextus and like 4 Secundus. So I also got one of these Quartus keys, so I guess I'll just put that into the bank along with the other ones. And I'll do those now along with maybe the Quintus ones. I don't know man, I've done like 30 keys now and I haven't actually got a single Cyrenic scale. That is by the way the Quartus ones and the Quintus one done and this is the loot for that. Uh, but I would expect to get, I kind of expected to get Cyrenic scales at least one or two maybe, but zero so far. Kind of blows, but I still have 10 Primus keys in the bank and I do already have the Primus signet, so I don't really care if I get another one of those. Oh actually I do, because I need two of each to make both of the crossbows. So actually it's not that bad if I get one. Alright, well there we go, I just got my first Cyrenic scale, so that's pretty cool. I think I have like 11 in the bank now, so if we get 3 more I can actually replace this Carol's Coif with a Cyrenic item, which is really neat. Alright, so that's all the keys used up, and it was 50, that includes the ones that I got from the bosses that just randomly drop a key. So, we did 50 kills overall, and we're now at 97 kill counts. I have 3 signets in 97 kill count, in my opinion, that's pretty goddamn good RNG. And we also got one Sirenic scale, which kind of sucked, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought I would get at least 2 or 3 Sirenic scales, but I'll do, I, I got 1, so at least I got, didn't get 0, right? You know, I was sitting here contemplating if I should get into farming again, and I was like, dude, I need it so bad, but it's such a boring skill. And then I saw this, it's called Watering Can, not Watering Cannot. And I was instantly inspired by this. So let's do it, boys. Anyways, this is all the saplings that I could make with all the seeds that I have, and I'm also going to be doing herb runs of snapdragon seeds. Now, the thing is, I have been doing snapdragon runs for a bit, but not that often, like now and then I did some runs. So I don't have that many seeds left, I have 48 now, and I've already planted like three different spots, and look at this. Last time I did a tree run, the tree is still here. It's just chilling, no one is touching it, it's just here. It's like a nature, you know, reservoir or whatever it's called. I don't know what the hell it's called. It's like where they keep all the trees in nature, you don't get to touch it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be planting all of these and uh, I'm probably going to get a good amount of experience for it. I'm, you know, all of these are going to be full grown trees and I'm going to pat them on the back, get some experience, check their health. And after that I'm going to cut them down uh, horribly and plant them again, so... I will be doing that for the next uh, period of time and uh, I'll be obviously doing other stuff as well but for now this is going to be the end of the video probably in the next video I'll start it off by checking the health of all of these trees getting a bunch of experience and you guys are going to be happy because you've been asking me to do farming for the longest time and it is a torture to do it for me even though some of you guys I've seen you like it which is weird but anyways you do like it that's fine with me and I thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.